The Dolby Atmos renderer is the software component of both the Atmos Mastering Suite and Production Suite. The renderer receives audio channels from Pro Tools in the form of beds and objects. It combines the object channels with panning data and renders the outputs to your speakers. The renderer is also where you record your final Atmos master file and generate down mixes to other formats like 5.1 and stereo. The Dolby Atmos renderer has numerous settings, but to get started you'll need to set the audio input and output preferences. In this case, we're using the production suite on a Pro Tools HD native system, so we'll choose Core Audio as our audio system, set the input to Dolby Audio Bridge, and the output to HD native. Over in Pro Tools, you establish network communication with the renderer via the peripheral setup window. The Dolby Atmos renderer stores the layout of your speakers so that it can generate an appropriate monitor output. You can also set how your speakers will be used to check down mixes. Each Dolby mixing project may use its own layout of audio beds and objects. This is mapped out using the renderer's input configuration tool. Here you will assign the 128 available channels to beds or objects. You can name the channels and also assign them to custom groups such as dialog or music. These groups can be used to quickly set up deliverables like a music and effects stem. Your Pro Tools session needs output routing to match the renderer project. The I.O. Setup Bus page in Pro Tools has a neat feature that pulls in your channel config directly from the renderer. On the output page, we now have the correct formats and channel routings for the connections out through the Dolby Audio Bridge or physically out to the mastering suite. Here, back on the bus page, we've renamed our mix elements and grouped some as stereo. The beds simply map out to 712 outputs. The buses that we're using for objects have both an output for audio and an object ID mapping that determines where the pan information goes. For the session running, the Dolby Atmos renderer provides visual feedback of audio and panning activity. Audio signals are indicated on the left, and object panning positions are shown in the 3D theater view to the right. In the next videos, we'll explore how to set up your Pro Tools session for mixing in Dolby Atmos, and how to print and deliver your final mix requirements.